This is lesson 57 in the basic JavaScript section of Free Code Camp. Today's lesson comparison with the quality operator. So there are many comparison operators in JavaScript. All of these operators return a Boolean true or false value. The most basic operator is the equality operator, which is two equal signs. The equality operator compares two values and returns true if they're equivalent or false if they are not. Note that the equality is different from assignment, which is only one equal sign, which assigns the value at the right of the operator to the variable in the left. So function, they have this function called equality test, and it takes in a parameter of my val, and it runs this code whenever it is called. It checks, like we learned previous lesson, if my val is equal to 10, it will run this code inside of here. If it is not equal to 10, then it will not run this and it will return not equal. So if my val is equal to 10, the equality operator returns true. So the code in the curly braces will execute and the function will return equal. Otherwise, the function will return not equal. So in order for JavaScript to compare two different data types, for example, numbers and strings, it must convert one type to another. Once it does this, however, it can compare terms as follows. So one is equal to one would be true, one is equal to two would be false, one is equal to the string one would be true, and the string three would be equal to three, which would come true. Um, instructions add the equality operator to the indicated line so that the function will return equal when val is equivalent to 12. So that's easy enough. So we want it to return true when val is equal to 12. So we really only have to change here if val is equal to 12, we want it to return equal. So right now it will return not equal when we test this and why because 10 will be put into place of val here and then it will run this code and then if val which is 10 is equal to 12 return equal since it's not equal it will not run this part of the code it will actually return not equal but if we were to change this to 12 then it will throw val uh, 12 into val and if 12 is equal to 12, which it is, it will run this code and return equal. So that should be it for this lesson. And as you can see, it returned equal here. And if we were to change this back to what they had, 10, you'll see it will return not equal. So that's it for this lesson.